Up next, it's a heavyweight collision between the Korean Superboy, Duo Choi, and Frankie Signs. Well, DC, this is a true mixed martial artist of the highest order. You've watched the film. Hard for me to see much in terms of glaring weaknesses, and he believes he can react to anything that is thrown his way inside that arm. It's unbelievable, because whenever you're trying to prepare for someone, you look for weaknesses. But when you watch this guy, you, nothing jumps off the page. When you think I have to go wrestle him, you realize very quickly that not only can he defend takedowns, he can also go and secure the sure. himself. He's that new breed of fighter that has been doing every discipline from the very start of his career. You know you're looking at a guy that will contend for a championship. And if our fighter meeting on Thursday is any indication, confidence, not an issue for this young man coming in here tonight. Well, we probably trot out the term well-rounded in modern-day mixed martial arts more than we should, but this fighter certainly fits the bill. Oh, 110%. He can do everything inside the octagon. Where he is most comfortable is inside of that eight-sided structure where right. most men are terrified of being. But for this gentleman, he only wants to be there. When you try to wrestle him, he's able to defend takedown. If you dare stand and strike with him, he can knock you out. He's got all the tools necessary to become a UFC champion. His first martial art, mixed martial arts, <laughs> and that's not always the case. He believes that he should have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. More than a decade separates these two fighters when it comes to the age. Some differences in height and reach. All right, now for the particulars, here's Bruce Buck. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is one round in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 13 wins, seven losses. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Frankie Sides! And now he's his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 14 wins, four losses. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Busan, South Korea, the Korean Superboy, Do Ho Choi. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. Herb Dean has drawn the assignment here. Ready. All right, so the fight is underway. We will see how it plays out. It's a pick-up fight according to Las Vegas, and really hard to think of a weakness that we have seen on film from either guys in their UFC careers this year. I feel like both of these guys are the top of the food chain. They're the best of the best that we could put inside the octagon. They are so well-rounded. They have every skill, and that is going to be on display tonight in this key match. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Frankie Sides. Oh, tags him again with a flush left hand. Well, not ideal to spend this much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his activity. Landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by Sides. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Sines. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here, and if you're the opponent, you've got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop. You've got to defend, but you can see him now start to gain posture, and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the pin. Oh, nice job to reverse position on the ground. It was bad, but now it's not so bad. What a fantastic sweep. Make some space. 
Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fight. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. Good, solid strike on the ground. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the block. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to harm. Oh, yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage off. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. He's going to start trying to move to a submission here. It looks like he's trying to attack an arm triangle. Watch triangle, watch triangle. Push the arm to the side. Get his head against the Nicely done. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Choi's got the full mount. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent, you got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Oh, how about the speed on that reversal there? I mean, I know you can get out of some bad spots, but not with that type of speed. You cannot allow him to get leverage on the bottom. What a sweep. Single ground strike there. All right, bottom fighter here. Maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is the opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Signs. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Choi. Sainz is attempting to pass here, but he's denied by the defense. Well, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by the Korean Super Bowl. Oh, beautiful jab by him there, really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. Single collar tie now. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. So once again, making good use of his size as he lands the knee. Well-placed kick there by Shore. All right, so the fighters are in the clinch again, DC. I get tired just watching these situations. It's exhausting. This is a position where you are constantly draining at the gas tank of your opponent. And they separate. And he landed the right hand there. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. All right, boy, tie clinch. A lot of elbows and knees could be coming from here. We'll see how he chooses to attack. Yeah, it's a very dangerous position, but an advantageous one for the offensive fighter. Watch for the defensive guy to try to break this immediately. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? 
lands flush with that right hand. Nice kick. These guys are going at him. Big punch lands. Oh! He's in trouble. He hurts. Oh, he might be out. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. And now he's got that tie clinch. We'll see what he can do with it. And now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch. You better protect that head. Great job securing the Muay Thai clinch. Watch for big knees to the body, and eventually him switch it up with a big knee to the head. Oh, big punch land. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Big kick. And continues with the inside leg kick. Man, it's almost like he's got a range finder out there. Just too easy as he connects with another good series of punches. There. If you're boxing this guy and only boxing him, you will be in trouble. Signs his lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Stuff to take down, no problem. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Signs. Well, you saw the tail of the tape. He has a reach advantage and made good use of it there with that punch. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got a pressure. He's got to chase that finish down now. is pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. Oh! Oh! Huge right hand! He's hurt. Throws him up. Go get him. Oh! He's getting lit up right oh. now, John. Opening up on him now. And now he lands a combination. Oh, and now he slams him to the ground. A beautiful single leg takedown. Lifted him in the air and put him down. Unable to connect with the right. Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very fast. Big knee lands there. He's got the hooks in, DC, working off of his back. Now look for him to attack the neck of his opponent to try to get the rear choke. Well, he's got his back now. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. All right, close guard now. You gotta be careful, though. He's got a lot of submissions off his back. Throws the right hand there. Strike on the ground. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by the Korean Super Bowl. And they both stand up. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Big call for punch land. Now we get back to range. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. All right, DC, no telestrator tonight, but we're going to get you some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moments, you got to show up, and that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. And here once more with the official decision is Bruce Buffett.
Ladies and gentlemen, the referee has called a stop to this contest. Declaring the winner by knockout, the Korean Super Bowl, Du Ho Chong. Well, we congratulate him on a huge knockout here tonight. He'll probably keep that smile while he's sleeping tonight after what he was able to produce here. He's going to be smiling for a really long time. When you get a knockout like that, not only do you get the win, also.